so now I think I'm going to go through some of the little aspects of the song that I think make it special. So I think the first thing I want to start with on all of the tracks that I'm going to go through is just the, the music theory. This song is in A minor, if I'm remembering correctly. It is. Um, and all of the chord progressions are like really, really simple. So the main um, progression, uh, which is this, is just tr regular old... Um, chords that I've just inverted once. Um, whoops, hang on, I can show you. Bring it back down, it's just an inverted chord for each one. And it's just A, G, D, C over and over again. Um, and that just creates that. So I have the chords there, which are really simple, um, three, three note chords, and then I have this melody that's playing throughout. Chords I don't use very often, but it's just the same thing, A, G, D, C. When I was writing this, I knew that I wanted the drop to be more of a hybrid drop, but I especially like more, more orchestral um, aspects, at least in the, the build and the chorus and all of that stuff. Um, but I was also sort of playing with this idea, at least um, musically, of a little bit of a darker feeling. So I realized that the full chords themselves, while it's like a minor progression, it does sound dark. When I just added just two notes, well, actually just one note, just extended by, um, by an octave. <laughs> Sounds kind of dark. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a not a musical expert, but eventually after the chords play, then this starts and this is the build. Super simple. It's like not complicated in any way, but I think that that adds a nice, um, I don't know, dark, moody feeling to it. So that's pretty much the music theory in this song nothing particularly complex i just went from really uncomplex three note chords to a massively uncomplex um single note extended by one octave just going up and down bum, 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 bum. Um, the only other thing that i think is worth highlighting in terms of musicality are the horns so one thing that i kind of i've just personally called like the akali horn um, stab is basically you take a horn sample, um, you duplicate it, and then you reverse it and reverse it into itself so it swells. Sounds kind of cool. So the main sound that I made for the first drop, and again, this was um, a sound that I knew that I wanted to use for this song because I knew that I wanted to make um, sort of a hybrid, hybrid trap type of song. So I knew I wanted to use sort of like a a grittier sound, something that was using FM synthesis um, and that type of thing. So this is the sound. I'm just going to play it. You can't see it, unfortunately. So it's not a terribly complicated sound to make. And, you know, if you're making anything really in Serum, it's pretty easy to make something like this. It's just basically an FM pluck. I have a, a square wave in one side and a um, sawtooth wave in the other, and it's just FMing um, with a pluck, LFO. So it just has a really sharp um, transient. I'm glad you think it's a pleasant sound. I think it's I think it's a pleasant sound to some, but I think maybe if my mom or dad were to listen to that, they'd be like, that's a little harsh. So then the other um, thing that I noticed that I like to do with sounds like this, especially in the trap style of stuff, is I would mess with the um, panning of the sound and I would mess with the reverb mix of the sound. So if I add both of those things and both of the automations for those, this is what it sounds like. So 
so it just adds a sort of sweeping effect and this is like not a terribly um, complex uh, organization of sounds it's just the one sound and a sub or an 808 depending on what you want to call it oh wait there's also that the 808. Um, so I also just have this sound playing which is the same thing but with a lot of reverb um, on top of it the I guess just in terms of the drum groove it's nothing that complicated it's just pretty much just a basic trap groove I have one thing that was kind of, I guess, different is I have a, a percussion loop coming in every once in a while. Um, and I think I have a tom fill. Yeah. Right. I think sparseness with... Um, with drums is a good thing in in this style of music. I find that it's really easy to sort of overuse drums in a song, especially in trap music. Um, but you really want the, the 808 to shine through. And the 808 in this song is another thing. That's incredibly simple. It's just, it's literally just a sine wave and a sawtooth wave. Um, nothing complicated. And I think that's where I th this song especially shines a little bit is that it's it's it sounds complex and it sounds perhaps um, or at least it sounds more complex than it is. It was a really simple song um, to make. I think it didn't take me that long. Not that it needs to, but um, it was something that I knew the idea that I wanted to make, and I had that sound. So I had this sound prior to. I had that sound prior to making the entire song. So I knew I wanted to implement the sound. I just built the song around it. <clears throat> the other thing I think that's kind of fun to highlight is that I just like, I have these horns playing throughout, but I just pitch them up for the build. Um, it sounds kind of bad by itself, but it works really well. Um, another thing too that I think is good to recommend for this style of music and that I like to do is that I like to have the um, drop synth, especially like if it's a really harsh synth, I like to have it build in. So, all right, so that type of thing, I think that helps build into the actual drop sound in this case. <laughs> So this is a, another really, really simple progression. It's literally just the chromatic scale of A minor going down. Um, it's like a few sounds. It's three, three individual synthesizers all doing the same thing. They just have a little bit of portamento, and that's what gives it the sort of glide. Um, I think just in terms of sound design, again, I wish I could show you guys. Um, I will highlight this sound, the main sound in um, Chromatose, because that's the one, I believe that's the song that I made this sound in, but it's it's just basically what I did to make this sound, which again, I can't play it for some reason, but maybe if I, yeah. So. Um, it's just, um, a recording of myself that I then placed into Serum and then frequency modulated with a uh, sawtooth wave. <laughs> um, and I have a, a couple of things going on in here, but it's not terribly important. But that's the main sound. I think it just makes it sound really gritty. And it's kind of cool to use your own voice in a song, um, even if it's not like recognizable. Um, but yeah, 